Well guys, look at this. If you're new to the world of 3D printing as we are, this is a mighty complicated little unit. the unboxing it came flat packed very well packaged with the these are called axes x axis y axis and z axis and to put it all together they give you a little toolkit which is pretty cool got all the tools you need in it all the screws and stuff basically you attach these onto the floor you attach this thing and you put the little printer head on and that's it off you go it comes with a little instruction book not very big but this is very detailed in how it shows you how to assemble the machine. It was very easy, I did it. Click in and all, attach all of the little cables and then off you go to the races. Uh, it took a little while to get it calibrated. A little menu item which says calibration of certain things and we tried that it didn't work and then eventually pushing some buttons it apparently adjusts the head to the exact height above here which is very important if you have too far away it becomes too thick everything that it produces and it slides around and if it's too thin it won't make the layer properly It has to be calibrated exactly, which is like 0 0.1, 0 0.2 millimeters. It took a bit of while, it took a bit of effort, not gonna lie, and eventually uh, we gave it a go. What they do give you is a little USB stick, and on here are a couple of print files. Uh, there's a little shark in there, there's a spider, and also a dinosaur. As you saw now, it took about half an hour to make and it looks pretty convincing. This little piece comes off and I think you can, this is magnetic. Look at that, that's not bad, eh? Try and get some close up shots. Obviously it needs a bit of trimming on the back and basically it's a 3D dinosaur which could stand up which is quite nice I'm pretty impressed with that uh, you basically just enter your code in here pick what you want to print and the thing just does it itself and it goes back and forth and up and down and makes a whole lot of noise there's a big fan in here which just blows it's like a, like a hairdryer and it does its own thing and you leave it what we do have here is that you need filament which is Roll that one here, you can buy a roll of filament, attach it to here. That loops in here, around and down into the, the head which actually melts it. And as it melts it, it's a very complicated, I mean very impressed. Right, we've run out of filament now after our dinosaur. Dinosaurs are pretty big. If you want to know how it works, here's your uh, proof if you like. As you saw during half of the printing process, as it builds up the layer, this was the file that they gave us. Uh, I think it's very detailed for what you get. So now what we have to do is get some more filament, maybe orange or green, who knows, and try something else. But just to give you an idea, it's very clever, very quick to set up. It's basically a no-brainer, literally plug and play. And now we're going to try and print some other stuff, who knows, maybe a landy or something. The list is endless. So there you go guys, have a look at this, this is very good, it works, it's good value for money, I'm very impressed with that. And yeah, go out there and get creative. Thanks for watching, 
I'll catch you on the next one and keep running.